to sell when you knew that we were doing the chocolates and addictions and things before, did you notice that there was a change in your behaviour at all between then and now? Yes. And I noticed it too. <laughs> well, it wasn't. I went quiet yeah. and kind of um, invisible, like right. retreating. Yeah. Okay. And often there is that sense of, uh oh, if I'm going to attack this or get rid of this or if it's going to go, then maybe I need to um, stock up and eat quickly before <laughs> it's all gone. Yeah. Right? So it's that, it's that feeling of almost, um, I don't want to miss out. Yes. Like if I'm if if I'm if this is going to be gone, I don't want to miss out. I better get it all in now. So often when people are faced with dieting, what's going on at the subconscious level is I've got to have more. I've got to have more. But it's happening at a subconscious level. So even though they think they're dieting, they're actually eating more. But they're eating more subconsciously. <laughs> get that? Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. So when you were looking at all the different foods, um, or even before that, what was coming up for you? Um, lots and lots and lots of things, so it's not like, it wasn't, it was just tons of emotions. So the first one was embarrassment. Yeah. I didn't want people to see me looking at food. Yeah. I didn't want people to see me eating food. Mm-hmm. And then I wanted to eat naturally and not in a full-on kind of a way. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. So not to be different to everyone else. Yeah. So has <coughs> there been um, behaviour? So is there, there guilt and shame there then? Yeah. Guilt and shame, and so does that mean that sometimes you you eat in the cupboard or you know where people can't see you or you can know, call them cupboard eaters? <laughs> but it's not really. But is, oh. is that the case? Yeah. A so little bit. yeah. So it's like that you want to fly under the radar. And yeah. So people don't notice. Mm-hmm. So when you're feeling that guilt and shame, so start tapping, everyone tapping, and tune into what you're feeling for your particular thing. So when you feel guilt or shame, where do you feel that? Um, I feel it in my chest. Mm -hmm. I feel it in my throat. Mm -hmm. I feel it behind my eyes (coughs) and nose. Eyes and nose, okay. In the back there. Okay. Your sinuses. Your sinuses, okay. And when you look at that, well, we've got some chocolate in front of us, uh, mint slice and those M&Ms, and like if you don't eat them, everyone else will. <laughs> so, you know, what's your craving out of 10 to have those? It's not so much when I look at it, but my craving out of 10 right now is about a nine, but when I look at it, I, I'm just embarrassed. Okay, so there's a nine out of 10 that you want it, but also a nine out of 10 of embarrassment? Yeah. Okay, and that embarrassment is, remind me again, because I went to the chocolate. <laughs> Even though I got distracted by the chocolate. <laughs> so it was in your sinuses? Yeah, in my in my chest. In your chest. In my throat and in, behind and my eyes, behind my nose. Behind your eyes and nose, which is your sinus passage. And also here as well. Okay. So what's that feeling like that's here? Um, it's like a rising pressure. Okay, so a rising pressure, and is that is that a pressure behind your eyes and nose as well? So yeah. a pressure in your sinus? Mm-hmm. And what about in the chest? Yeah, a it's heaviness all, and so pressure. It's all heaviness and pressure, okay. So let's just start tapping. Even though I have this 9 out of 10 pressure? Even though I have this 9 out of 10 pressure? That's embarrassment? That's embarrassment. As well as craving, I really want that chocolate. As well as craving, I really want that chocolate. And I feel it behind my eyes and my nose. And I feel it behind my eyes and my nose. And in my chest. And in my chest. And around the side. And around the side. And it's a pressure that's rising up. And it's a pressure that's rising up. I love and accept myself. I love and accept myself. Even though I have this embarrassment. Even though I have this embarrassment. And this pressure. And this pressure. This embarrassment and pressure. This embarrassment and pressure. I feel it in my behind my eyes and my nose. I feel it behind my eyes and behind my nose. I feel it in my chest. I feel it in my chest. This embarrassment pressure. This embarrassment pressure. I feel it around my sides. I feel it around my sides. It's like a pressing up. It's like a pressing up. I have this pressure, embarrassment in my body. I have this pressure, embarrassment in my body. And even though that embarrassment's there. And even though that embarrassment's there. I don't even think about it. I still really want that chocolate. I still really want that chocolate. 
Because what if somebody takes it away? Because <laughs> what if somebody takes it away? Or what's worse, what if it gets thrown in the bin? What's worse, what if it gets thrown in the bin? I still have this embarrassment though. I still have this embarrassment though. And I feel it. And I feel it. Here? Here. And behind my eyes and nose. Behind my eyes and nose. And I feel it in my chest. And I feel it in my chest. What colour is that pressure? The pressure's actually gone now. Mm -hmm. What does so, that mean? Well, it's nothing now, but the craving. So it's just the craving thing. Yeah. Okay, and when I said somebody might take it, mm -hmm. or it might get put in the bin, which one had the most charge in? Neither. Neither. It's more around never being allowed to have it again. Okay, so never being allowed to have it again. What if I'm never, <laughs> ever allowed to have chocolate again? What's your favourite chocolate? <coughs> My favourite chocolate? Just chocolate. Just chocolate. Anything. What if I'm never, ever allowed to have chocolate again? What if I'm never, ever allowed to have chocolate again? What do you feel when, that, when you say that? I don't want to think about it. You don't want to think about it? So, what if you did think about it then? What would that be like? Never, ever having chocolate again? Shit. <laughs> <laughs> and is it a deprivation? Is it a... Oh, uh, just no quality of life. <laughs> <laughs> It's just nice. It's nice. <laughs> so that feeling of eating chocolate, like eating that chocolate right now, then it's a nice feeling. Yeah. It tastes good. And it tastes good. Mm -hmm. And you can you can feel that taste, mm -hmm. and it's nice. Mm -hmm. When was the first time that you felt that nice tasting feeling? Okay. So it's been here as long as you can remember. Yeah. Remember who first gave you chocolate? I can I can guess, but I don't have it as a memory. So who's the guess? My godmother. Mhm. Mm and what was your relationship like with her? Um. At the time, pretty good. Mhm. Mm so, mm. how old do you imagine you were? Um, two. Mhm. Mm and what would that feeling have been like as a two-year-old being given chocolate by a godmother? Rewarding. Rewarding. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's a it's a reward. Yeah. So a rewarding feeling. Mm -hmm. And a really nice feeling. Yeah. And that feeling, where are you feeling it in your body? Mm, my face. In my smile. A smile. A mm smile. -hmm. And when you think of that smile, do you see your godmother smiling? No. No. So you see the little. Just me. The little girl smile. Yeah. Okay. And she's being rewarded. Mm -hmm. So she feels really good because she's been rewarded. Yeah, it's like being rewarded, like it's a loving thing. Mm. So if you could feel that love from that godmother that was a reward, mm. where would you feel it in your body? In your heart. In your heart? Mm. And if you tune into that love <coughs> and that feeling in your heart, that's a, that love and that reward from your godmother when you were a little girl, can you see that it's attached to the chocolate? Yeah. And if that chocolate mm. had a cord that was attached to your heart, what would that look like? A chocolate cord. <laughs> 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 attached to your heart. Okay. <coughs> and tuning into your feeling in your heart, it's like a reward and it's love. What's the colour in your heart? It's bright. Bright. Yeah, it's like a white light. Mm -hmm. And when you see that white light going to your godmother and coming from her, is that white all the way? That love? It's kind of. Um, my godmother's not there actually. Mm -hmm. um, it's just. You know those pictures of God or Jesus with mm -hmm. those light? It's like that. Mm -hmm. So that love that's going into your heart, that two-year-old got a little bit mixed up. <laughs> and what she did was she related chocolate with that love. But that love exists without the chocolate. It was just something that was attached at the same time. So as she ate <coughs> chocolate, 
and felt the reward and the love, she then put that reward and love into chocolate. That's just a piece of stuff. So when you look at the chocolate now, do you still see the reward and love? I actually do. Mm. It's just fatty lumps of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. But can you see that you can still have the reward and the love, that white light that goes into the heart? Yeah. You can't? What's stopping it? Um. <coughs> okay. Just tune into whatever that craving is now when you look at that. So there's no love attached with it anymore. Yeah. I don't really have a craving attached to it though. Like it's neither here nor there. So <laughs> where you going? It's a few minutes ago. We're nine out of ten. Yeah. And all we've done is remove that attachment to love. Yeah. And reward. And now you don't want it so much. Yeah. What if somebody else came and took it though? <laughs> What if you could never have chocolate again? Because that would be still. That's still. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> 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 We're making progress. <laughs> Worst case scenario, you could never have chocolate again. What would that feel like? Shit. <laughs> it describe it more. But what's the heart feel like? Oh, that, like. That's fucked. That's unfair. Why? Why that? Okay. Unfair. Now here we go. Here comes the lawyer. Okay. That's unfair. Yeah. And, and your energy picks up straight away when it's like that's unfair. Yeah. It, and it makes no sense. Yeah. Yeah. Feelings don't make sense. <laughs> We're talking emotions here. They don't make sense. Unfair. Feeling of being unfair. But no. What, what's like if... If I could never have chocolate again, what's what's your reason for that? Mm -hmm. Okay. She's <laughs> <laughs> boring up. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Take me on, come on. <laughs> Give me a good enough reason. Give me a good enough reason to take it away forever. I'll consider it. I want it to marry. You've got insurance, haven't you? <laughs>
I asked my parents to buy, you know, those <coughs> chocolates or packets of chips or muesli bars, and they said we couldn't afford it, so I used to steal that. Mm -hmm. And yeah, yeah, because that's what you wanted. Yeah, and you, it was unfair. You couldn't get it. Yeah. So you, you went out and got it. It's <laughs> good for you. <laughs> <laughs> and isn't it things that are in package that you go for the most now? Yeah. The things that you can get when you want it. Yeah. So how old were you then? Grade one, however you are. However old you are in grade one, six. Six-ish. Yeah. Mm. So is that grade six <coughs> child, that grade six child, that feeling everything's really unfair. Yeah. Still trapped inside you. Yeah? Perhaps. <laughs> Even though I still have this grade six child. Even though I still have this grade six child. Who feels it's so unfair. Who feels it's so unfair. That is deprived of all the sweet packaged goods. That is deprived of all of the sweet packaged goods. And because it's so unfair it's so unfair. She goes out and gets it. She goes out and gets it. As much as she can. As much as she can. And she's still trapped in my body. She's still trapped in my body. I love and accept myself. I love and accept myself. And my six-year-old self. And my six-year-old self. Deeply and completely. Deeply and completely. The six-year-old self. The six-year-old self. Who craves packaged goodies. Who craves packaged goodies. The stuff that she couldn't her family couldn't afford the stuff that her family couldn't afford. The stuff that she realised was so unfair. The stuff that she realised was so unfair. School was so unfair. School was so unfair. Life was so unfair. Life is so unfair. Life is so unfair. <laughs> Life is so unfair. My six year old self learned that. My six year old self learned that. And she's still fighting it. She's still fighting it. Fighting it everywhere she can. Fighting it everywhere she can. And she still wants all those packaged goods that she never got before. She still wants all those packaged goods that she never got before. And she'll get them whatever way she can. She'll get them whatever way she can. Even though she's embarrassed. Even though she's embarrassed. That drive for getting those packaged goods that she missed out on. That drive for getting those packaged goods that she missed out on. Is so strong. Is so strong. So unfair, because it's so unfair. Where's she feeling that unfair feeling? Um, in my head, but it's like a drive to get and have whatever I want. Mm -hmm. Like, <coughs> even if I don't want it, I'm gonna have it because <coughs> I want it. Yeah, I'm gonna be deprived of it. Yeah, yeah, and I can. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> so especially if I'm being deprived of it. Especially if I'm being deprived of it. I really want it. I really want it. Even though I have this strong drive, even though I have this strong drive to really get what I want, to really get what I want, because I can, because I can, and I couldn't then, and I couldn't then, and I'll get it, and I'll get it, especially if I'm being threatened to be deprived of it, especially if I'm being threatened to be deprived of it. No wonder I stand up for those who are being deprived. No wonder I stand up for those who are being deprived. I love and accept myself. I love and accept myself. And that part of me that still feels deprived. And that part of me that still feels deprived. That part of me that still feels deprived. That part of me that still feels deprived. That part of me that feels that the whole world is unfair. That part of me that feels the whole world is unfair. I have my six year old running my life. I have my <laughs> six year old running. My six year old keeps telling me the whole world's unfair. My six year old keeps telling me the whole world's unfair. And I'm still believing it. And I'm still believing it. <coughs> I'm even seeking out the unfairness in the world. I'm even seeking out the unfairness in the world. This feeling of being deprived. This feeling of being deprived. My six-year-old running my life. My six-year-old running my life. I wonder what it'd be like if she felt satisfied. I wonder what it would be like if she felt satisfied. If she felt the world was fair. If she felt the world was fair. I wonder what my life would be like now. I wonder what my life would be like now. She wouldn't be running my life. She wouldn't be running my life. And if I was there with that six-year-old, and if I was there with that six-year-old, I'd tap on her for all her feelings of being deprived. I'd tap on her for all her feelings of being deprived. 
and that unfairness that she feels. Being segregated. And ha not having what the other white kids had. Feeling deprived. Feeling that it's all unfair. It's all unfair that they can afford the packaged goodies. All unfair that they can afford the packaged goodies. My tap on her and they don't know that the whole world's not unfair. My tap on her and they don't know that the whole world's not unfair. It just seems like it is. It just seems like it is. In her classroom. In her classroom. And I let her know there's a whole world out there. Where there is fairness. Where there is fairness. And I'm going to show it to her. And I'm going to show it to her. I tap on her until she didn't feel deprived. I tap on her until she didn't feel deprived. So what would she need to have happen so she didn't feel deprived? <coughs> is she still feeling deprived? She is, but um, I feel much calmer. I think she needed friends or to fit in or mm -hmm. to be accepted. <coughs> I'm still good on that. Even though my six-year-old self didn't feel accepted. Even though my six-year-old self didn't feel accepted. She didn't feel she had friends. She didn't feel she had friends. I'm letting her know. I'm letting her know. That there are friends out there. There are friends out there. And I'm going to take her by the hand. And I'm going to take her by the hand. And introduce her to them. Introduce her to them. And allow her to feel part of them. And allow her to feel part of them. And not alone. And not alone. And not segregated. And not segregated. And I'm on her face. And I see the smile on her face. And she plays with her friends. And she plays with her friends. Her new friends that she's just been introduced to. Her new friends that she's just been introduced to. She doesn't feel so deprived. And she doesn't feel so deprived. In fact, they want to share their things with her. In fact, they want to share their things with her. <coughs> Even her, their packaged goods. <laughs> Even their packaged goods. And she feels grateful. She feels grateful. And that the world is a fair place. And that the world is a fair place. Just tuning into your body, looking at those chocolates. I can never get chocolate ever again. What if there's a choice? What if there's a choice? What's mm -hmm. the choice? To have or not to have. <laughs> <laughs> but still prefer that. Mm -hmm. Have you chose to move into? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To have or not to have. Yes. Then to be deprived. Yes. Most people would feel that. <coughs> deprived of something that they like. Mm -hmm. But when you think of it now as a choice, is there a strong feeling of um, needing those packaged tools? So there's more of a choice now. <coughs> Yeah. 
Some save it for later. Yeah. Someone else might want it. Yeah. Why would you throw something good stuff away? Yeah. Okay. And that's often what comes up for people when they don't want to leave something behind, um, or if somebody doesn't finish it, then they put <coughs> it to go to waste, so they eat it. Okay. But the desire to eat it right now. Uh, two or three. Two or three. So that's gone down a lot. Mm-hmm. So there's another session then to do on <coughs> not wanting to waste it. Yeah. Um, it could be there for someone else or you could have it for later so there's that not wanting to waste things yes okay? mm-hmm. yeah. so that's another session so we could leave it for here now that the craving to eat these is now two out of ten so put them back down <coughs> so them. we'll do one more round as a finishing up so even though i've still got this two out of ten even though i've still got this two out of ten want to have this i want to eat this chocolate want to eat this chocolate because i wouldn't want something to go to waste because i wouldn't want something to go to waste it could be eaten later on it could be eaten later on or somebody else might want it or someone else might want it i wouldn't want them to be deprived i wouldn't want them to be deprived <laughs> and later on i might want them and later on i might want them but I could choose to put them in the bin. Mm. But I could choose to put them in the bin. I love and accept myself and my choices. I love and accept myself and my choices. Deeply and completely. Deeply and completely. I do have a choice. I do have a choice. I smell them and they smell good. I smell them and they smell good. I could eat them now and make my stomach feel even sicker. I could eat them now and make my stomach feel even sicker. And maybe it would taste nice for a minute in my throat. And maybe it would taste nice for a minute in my throat. But maybe my stomach wouldn't feel good afterwards. But maybe my stomach wouldn't feel good afterwards. <coughs> I've got a choice. I've got a choice. I can eat them if I want. I can eat them if I want. I could put them in the bin if I want. I could put them in the bin if I want. But that would be wasteful. <coughs> but that would be wasteful. Pointless. And pointless. <laughs> pointless. <laughs> it's good fattening food that somebody else might want to eat. <laughs> <laughs> it's good fattening food that is... <laughs> Why did you have to add those things? It's good food that someone else might want. It's good fattening food that somebody else might want to get fat on. <laughs> so, that, that saying fattening food, what brings up for you? That it's embarrassing. Okay. Yeah. So that, that embarrassing feeling. That embarrassing feeling. When I look at that food and know it's fattening. When I look at that food and know it's fattening. That fattening food. That fattening food. I'm embarrassed. I'm embarrassed. Really embarrassed. In my face. That embarrassment in my face. That embarrassment in my face. When I look at that fattening food. When I look at that fattening food. When I hear that fattening food. When I hear that fattening food. I feel all that embarrassment in my face. I feel all that embarrassment in my face. I do have a choice. I do have a choice. I can throw it away. I can throw it away. But that would be wasteful. But that would be wasteful. Wasteful to who? Wasteful to me. Wasteful to me. Because <laughs> I might want to eat that fattening food later. Because I might want to eat that fattening food later. That's so funny because I wouldn't have a hesitation of chucking out half a reply. <laughs> <laughs> mm. So it's still the goodies food. But see how the cognitive shift's coming in? Yeah. Because the charge is going down. Yeah. So it's not that it's wasteful. It's not that it's wasteful. It's still that six-year-old. <laughs> still that six-year-old. That doesn't want to give away that food. That doesn't want to give away that food. Because she missed out on it. Because she missed out on it. And she went to great lengths to get it. And she went to great lengths to get it. I stole this food once out of the bin. There's this half-eaten chocolate cake. And I was at school in the playground. There was all this tear mark on the playground. And I stole it out of the bin, but I was embarrassed just in case the person who threw it away realised it was theirs. And I started running and I tripped and I fell. And it fell out of my hand and fell in the tan bark and got covered. And then I, I couldn't have it. And I was just running and embarrassed and hiding this food that I'd stolen out of the bin. Mm-hmm. Mm. So this embarrassment, it's still there. Yeah. How old were you then? Probably the same age. Mm. It's in my state of stealing food. Mm. This embarrassment that I had to steal. This embarrassment that I had to steal. So why would I want to put it in the bin? So why would I want to put it in the bin? That's what the white kids did. <laughs> That's what the white kids did. 
I told the lungs deep that they wouldn't like me. I told the lungs deep that they wouldn't like me. But what if they were? But what if they were? I just had different color skin. I just had different color skin. It was just that teacher in that school that decided to separate me. It was just that teacher in that school that decided to separate me. But I made it my truth. I made it my truth. And I'm willing to let go of that now. And I'm willing to let go of that now. And let that six-year-old know it's not the truth everywhere. And let that six-year-old know it's not the truth everywhere. Even that six-year-old getting the cake out of the bin. Even that six-year-old getting the cake out of the bin. Tripping and feeling embarrassed. Tripping and feeling embarrassed. All that remaining embarrassment. All that remaining embarrassment. From that six-year-old on. From that six-year-old on. I wonder if I can release it all. I wonder if I can release it all. I might be able to. I might be able to. I've got a choice. I've got a choice. Maybe I don't want to. <laughs> Maybe I don't want to. Maybe I can. Maybe I can. Maybe I can't. Maybe I can't. I might give it a try. I might give it a try. <laughs> I wonder if I can throw that chocolate in the bin. I wonder if I can. So yeah, I totally can. <laughs> Go for it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.